this is the first time that I've gone live doing a project here on face or uh, where am I YouTube isn't that awesome so you have a chance to check out my video live and in person today we're gonna work on doing some inks which is really cool and we're gonna do a little tea towel that I have here and we're gonna do some really cute spring bunnies on the tea towel and you have a chance to actually get in on this and if you're a member of my chalk nation that's my VIP group over on Facebook if you're in there then you um, will have an opportunity to pick up this transfer and actually get a really, really great bonus, but you have to be in my group to do it. And we have to do it in the next 24 hours. Um, I'm not allowed to talk about it live or in public, but in my group, um, you're gonna look up Creative Sarah's Chalk Nation and you're gonna find it. And then you're gonna request to join it and then I will say yes, as long as you are not a designer. You cannot be a chalk couture designer to get in. So let's do some inking. I've got my colors. And the first thing you wanna know, we're gonna ink on fabric. We have to have our little ink mats. Where are they, where'd they go? Okay, so this is my little ink mat. I have it in the package. This is one third of the size of the actual ink mats that come in our kit. So um, you can see these little ink mats. They're really long and then you can cut them to fit. I like this because when I do this, it fits real nicely inside some of the smaller things. And also um, this will fit perfectly right here with the image that I'm gonna put on this towel. Now my, if you can hear my children, I apologize. Goodness gracious, when you tell them you're going live and they just don't care. So, um, heh, goodness. So this is gonna go underneath my towel. This is a really nice um, towel that I found. Super cute. So the colors in my personal kitchen are, um, we have like dark wood and then I accent, a lot of my accent pieces are with the teal. So I have a lot of browns and wood and kind of rustic things with this teal color. So I love the accent stripes here. And we're just gonna do a fun um, bunnies. What I love about these, we're gonna use um, the taupe, we're going to do some darker bunnies, some gray bunnies. This is taupe couture ink. And what I love about this kit in particular, it's called build a bunny. And I, I will grab it and show you the bunnies. It's not just an Easter thing. There are a ton. It's all spring based. And I created this last night. And this is just like super adorable and my favorite um the video for this will go up on my page soon um but isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen with this little bunny trying to get up there to get those carrots um we have easter eggs that can go in here we have tulips that can go in here and again those things would also kind of look cute into our um vintage truck but this is how cute you can make the super super um versatile build a bunny it is not just about Easter in fact there are no words it's all about spring so we've got bunnies we've got you can see kind of in here the little tulips we've got all different flowers there's a balloon there is a cloud and rain oh my goodness um, so here's your big balloon and your string and then this is my favorite. I haven't used it yet, but it's the um, 
you know, the little um, dandelion fuzz thing that you can make a wish. Um, your umbrella, here's your umbrella handle and your, your cloud. And then we have rain. Um, it's in here. It's in here. But I just wanted to show that build a bunny is not just about bunnies. So um, it's called build a bunny for a reason. This bunny right here, he's got a number two on him, okay, on the transfer. And it goes with this shape number two. So he's actually going to be holding this little sprig of flowers. And this number two also goes with him. It's the inside of his ear. So all these coordinate together and it all tells you. And then here's my number three bunny. And I must have put my number three bunny stuff back in here on accident. Here it is. Here's my number three. He gets to have little cheeks and little ears. Um, so very, very, very cute. So we're gonna get moving on this. The ink is really nice to work with, so you're gonna have a great time. I'm just kind of centering this on here because we're having a standing bunny and we're having a sitting bunny and then we're gonna have the little flowers and everything. Um, you don't have to fuzz your transfer or, transfer or anything. Let me move this up so you can see a little better. Um, let's see here. We are going to peel the transfer and I'm going to place it a little bit above the bottom right there. I use my hands. Some people don't like to do that. I like to feel that every little bit is stuck down. So stuck down. Now I'm going to take my transfer and I'm going to flip it over to the back and I'm just going to write back on it so I know that when he's all cleaned I'm not putting him on the back side I'm putting him on the shiny front side so you can kind of tell because it's shiny but okay so we got him and I'm gonna go ahead and put my other bunny down because these are the same colors oh sometimes my nails can't okay sometimes I can't grab it some grab it sometimes I can all right, so I'm gonna move him over slightly. He's just kinda like hanging out. Do to do, do, I'm a little bunny, hanging out. And I'm gonna do the same thing where I write the word back on the back of my transfer. Um, and I'm gonna make sure that, yeah, we got per plenty of room. Pardon me, I am about to sneeze. Shoot, oh my goodness. So sorry. I don't think I've ever sneezed on a live before. All right, so we're gonna use our taupe ink. I've got this opened, and what I wanna do is I'm gonna look around my image to see if my transfer screen print gets close to the edge. Because if it gets close to the edge, I don't want my ink to go over, like if I'm a little sloppy, I don't want that to happen. And definitely I make mistakes and I can be sloppy. So I'm just going to put, you can use painter's tape, but this is just washi tape. I mean, super versatile. I'll just kind of put this up here. There, so we've got him kind of surrounded. Um, I ran out of, tape. I need to grab another one to put in my dispenser. Okay, here we go. I am not picky. I just, tape is tape, washi tape, and you know, whatever. So I had a bunch on hand. I mean, who does not have washi tape, right? If you are any kind of crafter, I am sure. He looks a little crooked, so I'm going to fix him. I'm usually not too picky about things being crooked. As you can tell, if you watch my videos, you know that I am I am perfectly imperfect. And uh, that's just the way it is. But I love doing this. And so, oh, there's Jakers. That's my dog. 
Okay, so we got our bunnies down and we're going to do, not this, we're gonna do topes. We're gonna have a little gray bunny. He's gonna be so adorable. Now, I'm just gonna use one of our regular squeegees and um, you do not want to get ink on your fingers and you definitely don't want to get them um, on your towel because it can stain. So have some wipes handy. This is a, a generic disinfectant wipe. Just have that handy to wipe your um, hands or whatever. <laughs> whatever. Just use it to wipe your hands in case you get any ink on you. Make sense? Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, Jessica, hi. Hi, Liz. Hi, Cindy. My goodness. Hi, Karen. So this is so new to me that I had no idea how to even watch the comments. Now I know. And hello. <laughs> it's so funny. I just wanted to take the leap. Come over here onto YouTube and go live. I've never done it before. I um, thought it would be pretty cool. So that's what I did. And now I clicked a button and now I can see comments. <laughs> So that's awesome. So I'm just doing a nice even cover of this bunny. And I'm gonna make sure I don't have anything on me, on my hands. I'm gonna peel off the washi tape first and throw it away, because it probably does have stuff on it. And I'm just gonna peel. There's our little gray bunny. He's so cute. He's gonna get some real cute little um, ears and cheek dimensions, so have no fear. Now we're gonna do our other bunny. Thank you, oh, I appreciate it. You're so sweet, Karen. Hey there. Okay, we're going to our next bunny. Let's see how he turns out. I'm really excited for this one because he gets to hold the little flowers. Oh, that's my... So that's my heat press yelling at me that I've been taking too long. We are going to heat press this little creation I'm doing. And it's really easy. You can use an iron or if you have a heat press, you can use a heat press. I'm gonna take away the washi before I grab my transfer. You probably could do it all at once, but I'm not going to take my chances and always go to lift at a corner but then you want to try it is hard huh. I just had my nails done and so they're not very sharp if you know what I mean they're very oh he's gonna be cute I cannot wait okay I'm gonna put this in my water you just um, want to set your transfers in water while you're working. You can totally clean it as you go. I'm gonna do a little bit um, more. So I want him to dry a little bit before we um, layer. So you don't have to dry too much. So I apologize if this is loud, but you don't have to dry too much. Um, the ink actually settles into the fabric, so it's not just sitting on top. Now our chalk sits right on top, and you have to dry that to the bone, dry, dry. But this, you can actually, um, it doesn't have to be completely 100% dry, because it totally soaks in. And I'm looking on my video, on my computer and I don't think you guys can see all of the um, the detail in here there's a bunch of little detail and it kind of looks a little bit blurry on there so I feel bad because it makes you not able to see how cute these little guys are so I'm just gonna get the ears on and his little cheeks
Okay. Okay, so there we go. Now, his little cheeks and his little ears, we're gonna do that in fawn. Oh, I gotta break the seal. This is a new color for me. I love our new lids. They are one step, one step. Love, love, love it. I'm just gonna grab some of this. I'm gonna go quickly. I didn't tape because this is just a little tiny bit that we're doing. So I felt like I could have control, which I did. Oh, there's our cute bunny. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna set that in the water. So cute. And now I am going to grab his little ear because this ear is going to be the same color as the ear over here and I just line it up just like so and then you're not going to need a lot of ink for this tiny tiny little bit but I will tell you the numbers are screen print so if you get your um, ink on that in any way it definitely would show the number two. I just want to tell you. Not that I've done it before, but I might have. Just saying. Okay. Now, we're going to do some bright kiwi floral here. Super excited. So, if you go into my Facebook group, and you check out what the deal is um, for when you purchase this um, this transfer, the one that I'm using. You um, will need to send me a message. Well, actually, I'll I'll know when you order it, but send me a little message and tell me the color you want. Ooh, that's a hint. I'm not allowed to give hints. So sorry. Make sure you're in my Chalk Nation, though. That's a really, really great place to be. Um, YouTube's a great place to be, too, just because it's so fun with all the videos. But Facebook is fun, too. And you'll learn a lot more about my business by um, checking out my Facebook group. Oh, voila, there are his little spring, little spring um, sprig of green. I wish I had any green out here in my house. But we have all brown, at least it's not snowy. All brown. Now, I am not done. I need to do something else. Like we need a little bit more. This is super cute, but we need more. So I brought with me my spring words now this is awesome it goes hand in hand with the transfer that I just used April showers bring May flowers here comes Peter Cottontail stop and smell the and then flowers hello rabbit fresh in the air hippity hop is on its way happy Easter somebody loves you um, I could do somebody loves you but I really just want here comes and then I want the word spring and I'm so excited so I'm gonna use part of this transfer all of our transfers that have multiple pieces come in a sheet and then they have these little cut lines so you just follow your cut line with your scissors and it goes quite smoothly there we go and I'm not going to cut all of these out right now, obviously, just the ones I want. And I'm known to make changes to my design like on a whim or right when I'm just sitting here. Um, I'll be like, 
you guys, what should I do? I don't like my idea anymore. But I think I'm going to do, here comes spring. I don't know why cutting is hard for me today, but apparently it is. Okay. So, um, I want, let's see. Don't touch that. Spring, or maybe, yeah. Oh my goodness, what can I do, what can I do? Here comes spring. I guess I'll just layer it like that. I didn't want, I think I'm gonna do spring first. And I wanted to do spring with the same color. I don't know. Let me try drying this just a little bit before I put my spring on. You guys have any ideas? If you do, type a little comment about where my word should go. I'm just gonna dry this part a little bit. I think I'm going to do it here. Oh my goodness. I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. See what I mean? So I just feel like I need to move. Here we go. It's yelling at me again. We're going to go back over to my original plan. Original plan. We're going to use our kiwi. And then I'm going to use not kiwi for those words. Um, I'm not taping because I feel like I've got a handle on the words. going on nice and smooth nice and smooth what I love about our ink is that it is not as quick to dry on your screen so when you're chalking there is a sense of urgency because you want to get it done because we put such a thin thin layer of chalk on it can dry really quickly to the screen. And then when you peel it up, it'll come up with the screen. And you don't, obviously, you don't want that. It'll mess up your, it'll mess up your deal that you got going on here. Now I um, am, you know, you don't have to worry, sorry, you don't have to worry about that with the inks because the inks settle in they don't sit on top and also they stay wetter a little bit longer they are a little runnier than the chalk so the chalk is a real paste and this is not the inks are awesome seriously awesome they're really really great um, if you are looking looking for an ink um, that you can't find, please let me know because I um, have stock. And um, so that's important to know. There are a few that are out of stock on the website, but not at my house. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna show you a little trick. I have the here, I'm gonna stick this down. I'm gonna clean off my here real quickly. I'm just gonna grab my, 
Okay, my little wipe. And I wiped it down so that there's no ink on the top. And I'm going to wipe it off so that there's no ink on the bottom. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm not doing the words right next to each other. And let me dry that really quick. Oh, Sherry, aren't the inks great? Seriously. And did you know that you can use the inks right on our boards too? I mean, if you've seen my, um, my video about doing the, um, on one of our Aiden framed boards, I did, I did the silver ink. It was awesome. I had it on there for about a month and I washed it right off. So when you don't heat set the inks, they're not permanent. Here comes spring. Awesome. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that sticky backed ink mat. And it is sticky. So I peel it off. I'm going to set it aside. I can wash it later if there are any um, ooh, I'm going to set this here. We're just kind of waiting for it to dry and I'm going to throw my squeegees in my water to wash those and I'm going to close up my inks. That way I don't make a mess. Don't drop anything. That's for sure. And everything looks good to go. All I'm doing is I'm going to dry my image as much as I can. So I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to use my craft dryer because you want this dry to the touch. Now it'll be tacky, but you'll have it dry. When we heat set this, I'm going to put parchment paper on it. And that parchment paper is going to protect it from the heat press or the iron, whatever you're using. And I can even heat it from the back side. These are pretty good. This guy is a little bit. I love this green color. It looks really good with the colors in the towel. I know you guys probably can't see it as great. For some reason, the live here versus the live on Facebook is a little different. So I'm put my little mat there. Now this mat is just to um, iron on and protect my surfaces underneath there. I'm going to um, flip this up. There we go. Now, I'm hoping the image is just the right size for the press that I have. So we're just going to do, let me move it up, we're just going to do, um, why are we, there we go, 305 degrees for 30 seconds and we're going to do it on both sides. So we first do it, sorry I'm a little bit out of the picture, that's because the cord on this is not as long as I want it to be. And as you know, sometimes we just, our setup area is just not as cool as we want it to be. At least mine's not. So here we go. Um, it's interesting. So the lag time on here is about four to five seconds. Like in the time that you... Um, see me or hear what I say. It's about four or five seconds. However, when I'm on Facebook, it's 13 seconds, which feels like forever, just so you know. It feels like forever. So now we do 30 seconds on this side. Now, if you were ironing, 
you're gonna put it on a cotton setting and you're actually gonna do this for four minutes. You're gonna go over every spot for four minutes and you're gonna do front and back. If you were using the ink on ceramic or glass or something that's gonna go in the oven to heat set, you're going to put it at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. You're gonna put it into the cold oven, you're gonna turn it on, and it's going to heat up while you are, um, look how cute. Here it is. Here comes spring, guys. Isn't that sweet? My little bunnies. It'll be so cute to go up in my in my kitchen. I love it. Can you guys see how adorable he is? He's like got sad eyes, but I'm gonna give you this little thing. Super cute. And he's just I feel like he needs to be carrying something behind his back. But um all right, thank you so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Okay. I yes, and then, okay, so this can go right into your wash machine, go in your dryer. The inks that you do on um, glassware or, or whatever you're gonna put in your oven, that, that can go into the dishwasher, it's dishwasher safe. So these inks are fabulous. They're couture inks. They come in a three ounce container. I think we still have a couple colors that come in a two ounce, but um, in probably in a week or so, they'll all be three ounce, only available option, and they're great. You can use them on your boards for a non-permanent option, or you can use them on fabric and anything that you can heat set. So I appreciate you watching. Please share my videos and um, have a fabulous night. And I will talk to you later. If I can figure out how to stop this. Don't you love it?